Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the Highgate podcast. My name's Sam Pullen, I'm an assistant head here at the school and I'm joined today by not one but two heads of maths. Hello Johnny Wright. Hello. And hello Polly Brownlee. Hello. Obvious first question, why two heads of maths? Well I think it's born from the fact that collaboration is at the heart of what we do as a mathematics department. We're a large department currently of tw- 24 maths teachers, each with strong mathematical degrees and to get the best out of each of those teachers individually and collectively, we have to make sure we work as a team. So if you've got 24 people working in a team, there must be maths, maths chat going on all the time. Non-stop maths chat. If you come into the maths department, uh, the likelihood is that either people are talking about maths, they're talking about an interesting problem, um, or they're talking about teaching, because they're all passionate about how best to deliver mathematics peoples. Which leads me seamlessly into my next question, which is, what is the philosophy of maths teaching here at Highgate? So essentially our philosophy is that math teaching should be Socratic. Pupils are led to discover new techniques by a series of careful questions that are tailored to the individual and the topic. And also that we don't really use textbooks. So worksheets instead? Yes. So although any new teacher joining the department we hope would bring their own ideas, we do have an extensive bank of resources that we've created ourselves over the years that closely match our scheme of work and what we want to achieve as a department. So it's not as if we say, welcome, there's a class, go and teach it, bring your stuff. Absolutely not. No, there's lots of support for any new teacher in terms of resources. So clearly then there's lots and lots going on inside the classroom, but I know that one of the great strengths of maths here is that a huge amount happens outside the classroom too. Can you tell me something about the the co-curricular maths offer? Yeah, of course. So um, we've got a really strong involvement in UKMT type um, competitions. Uh, We enter sort of whole year groups for things like the SMC and the JMC, but also pupils choose to um, sit Olympiad papers such as the BMO rounds one and two um, in years nine, 10, 11 and 12 and 13. Uh, Also, the sixth form is run of Rocaro Society, which is a sort of society of short maths talks in which they present ideas in uh, what maths and computer science that they're interested in. We've also got um, a lot of work um, on the partnership side of things. So we have two full-time teachers worth of time devoted to um, primary clubs, um, sixth form further maths teaching for schools that can't um, offer that themselves. Um, we also have a third teacher who's currently on secondment at the London Academy of Excellence in Tottenham as their head of department over there. And tell me about the maths bash that happened last week. Oh, the maths bash was uh, last Friday. Uh, five local schools sent all their sort of keen beans along for a whole day to deliver and listen to sort of micro talks in mathematics. In the end, it was about 90 people took part. Um, there was a mingle uh, problem solving session and a, a IMRI leader, sort of Cambridge Mathmo, came down and gave an amazing talk on Hamming codes. I always like it when mathematicians refer to themselves and their colleagues as Mathmos. <laughs> um, so the proof, though, of course, is, is in the uptake. I mean, do people actually like maths here? Do they choose to take it at A level or not? I think as to whether they like it, you'll get a biased answer from us. But yes, people do choose to take it. We are the most popular subject at A level. We've got 35 further mathematicians, give or take, in each of the two sixth form year groups. Um, and I think this year we have 12 pupils applying to do maths at uni, which is a good sign that things are very healthy. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm imagining listening to this as a prospective teacher at Highgate, perhaps, and thinking, gosh, that sounds like an amazing place. They might even be a little bit intimidated. So what support can you offer to say, come and join us and we can help you be a Highgate math teacher? Yeah, so Johnny and I both joined actually, you know, with uh, unqualified as teachers straight out of uni and Johnny had worked in banking for a while. And we both joined completely green. And there's a massive amount of support. So um, we've got weekly mentor meetings with a person who's assigned to kind of navigate you through your first couple of years at Highgate. Um, Lots of observing, feedback, um, we often hire people with no teaching experience, although we do, of course, hire people who are qualified teachers as well. What we're really interested in is if people are interested in maths and they're interested in teaching maths really, really well. So overall then, um, perhaps one thought each, why maths at Highgate? So I think for pupils, it's that they all have a chance to be the best mathematician they can be. And I, I think the same is true for teachers. I think we want to give teachers the space, but also the support um, to make sure their lessons and their teaching is as good as it can be. What a fantastically positive message. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank Thank you. you.